If you visited Washington Park Zoo in the past 20 years, you know that this is Packy, probably the most famous elephant in the world. The first one born in captivity in over 50 years, father now of five babies himself and two more on the way. He is the patriarch of the Washington Park Zoo elephant breeding program, the most unusual breeding program in the world. But that program had a problem, and it was a problem that even Packy, macho as he is, couldn't solve. But Good Samaritan Hospital could. What do you want to do now? Go see monkeys? It's not something you necessarily dwell on when you're showing the kids the elephants, but the truth is there just aren't enough elephant babies being made to keep the zoos of America supplied and may not be enough to keep the native populations alive in Asia. There are plenty of would-be mamas like these, but not enough papas to go around. So keepers and doctors here want to do what farmers have been doing with cows for years, something never before done for elephants, artificial insemination. <laughs> Dr. Mike Schmidt has spent eight years learning about elephants' estrus cycles, figuring out how to safely take sperm from Packy and other males, and how to get that semen through the birth canal to the cow elephant cervix, where the bull usually puts it. How do you get 48 inches up and then over and down in an elephant and not do it blindly and have uh, terrible problems and cause discomfort to the elephant. And the answer came, oddly enough, from the endoscopy service of Good Samaritan Hospital, the place where doctors use special fiber optic probes to look into throats and windpipes and lower bowels of people. It started out as kind of a laughing matter here, you know. Right? Sure, uh-huh, right, for elephants. But the Olympus camera salesman was serious. A colonoscope like this, once used to find and treat problems in human lower tracts, might be just the thing to fertilize a ripe elephant cow. And when Good Sam bought this new scope, they were willing to give away the old one. Basically, it was not a usable scope for us anymore. Just because of the advances and the things that that older scope lacked, we really could not use it except for emergencies on our patients here. So if it can be of use to someone, it's wonderful. This may be an obsolete piece of equipment for Good Samaritan Hospital, but for us, it's, it's just like heaven on earth, and uh, we're very excited about our chances now. Now, 6,000-pound Tamba is in for her post-implantation checkup. Just a week ago, she was in heat, one of three estrus periods she has a year. And they used Good Sam's old colonoscope, now dubbed the elephoscope, to plant a billion seeds from Packy in this diminutive lass. Now they're checking, chaining the 11-year-old cow in position, cleaning the long manipulable probe, keepers Tim Brooks and Doug Groves keeping Tamba happy in front, chief keeper Roger Hennius managing the tail. We're ready to do our It does some amazing things. For instance, I can be four feet away, and by moving these controls, I can direct where this goes. Ann Schmidt assists in the delicate procedure as Mike Schmidt guides and watches the probe move gently through the four-foot canal. All right, I can see the folds of the, the uh, urogenital canal here, and there isn't very much mucus, so she should be coming out of heat right now. It's the same procedure they used last week when they sent the elephoscope on a journey of creation. Steady, Steady Tim. And get a couple of pictures of him here. They took pictures last week, too, as the probe moved up the urogenital canal to the cervix, the entrance to the uterus, and on through for the first look human beings have ever had inside the uterus of a living elephant. This is the pioneer picture. They planted semen and came out. Everybody else in the world who likes elephants is sort of depending on us to do this. And that's because so few zoos go to the trouble of keeping bull elephants. They're too dangerous for most zoos. So if we can collect semen from our bulls, it's a lot easier to take refrigerated semen in a thermos bottle and transmit it to Pennsylvania or Florida than to try to move bull elephants around to get all these cows that are kind of pining away without any male companionship. It could be lucrative, too. Elephant stud fees are as big as elephants. Zoos all over the world are waiting. The problem is, they won't know now for four months if Tamba is pregnant. There are days when we wished we were working on guinea pigs that cycle about once a month because this business of getting three chances and three chances only a year has really slowed things down, and, but that's elephants. And that's one of the biggest stories in Portland. I'm Neil Rosenau, News 8.